Oh yeah. Oh look at that buddy. Oh look at that, Trumpy. Oh you like that platinum shield? You know what that means? It means I f***ing hate life. Drank beer, like beer, still like beer. What's up everybody, it's your boy Rebel here. How we all doing today? Hope we're having a wonderful day today. So I got the riot shield and the combat knife in gold. Making both of them platinum, I'm just gonna start off and say that the shield looks pretty good in platinum and gold, but the knife in platinum just kind of looks like a knife since knives are generally a silver color anyway. It kind of just looks like a knife. The gold knife does look a lot better, uh, but the platinum shield does look pretty snazzy. So today, I'm gonna give you all some tips and tricks that help you get through the riot shield and the combat knife. So let's get right into it, starting with the riot shield. First things first, normally the riot shield is a two whack melee. So what I would recommend is hardcore shoot house. Because the shield is a two hit whack and the whacks kind of take a while, I would definitely recommend hardcore. You might get shot through the weird hole in the shield that just happens to appear from time to time while you're getting shot at, but definitely hardcore shoot house. I don't know if they took that playlist off, but as soon as it comes back, hardcore shoot house. Probably not vacant. It might be somewhat more fast than the other maps, but you do probably want to stick to shoot house, not shipment. They did have the hardcore shoot house, so I highly would recommend that. Now the thing is because there's no attachments with the riot shield and this will also go for the combat knife level them up during double XP weekend and then go on to leveling up some other guns but make try to get them leveled up during double XP weekend if not use your double XP weapon tokens to get these up faster you do only have to go up to level 31 I believe and that is not that tough so you do want that double XP to make sure you're not wasting any time just leveling it up and you are doing all of the challenges as soon as you possibly can the challenges are are 200 kills with the riot shield just run around and whack people with the riot shield uh, I will say sometimes after I killed people with the riot shield I do an extra shield whack for absolutely no reason and that was incredibly annoying I not entirely sure if they're gonna fix that but 200 kills should be relatively easy in hardcore you use the shield to defend yourself and not get shot and then whack them and it's only a one whack shot 50 injured this one may come naturally it may not you may not get injured and everything tends to be a one shot so the trick is and sa this is sour's trick so all credit goes to him for this injure yourself on your own thermite and then run around and kill people with the shield sometimes i get lucky and have people running around with smgs they get one shot on me then i kill four enemies and it counts as four injured kills until i end up dying but the injured should come somewhat easy on hardcore shoot house for the shield but if not thermite not a molotov not a grenade thermite just run past it when you see your screen get injured as you're running past it you know you've done what you needed to do and then you go get the kills it's funny when i was doing that i saw another dude throwing a thermite so i would just run against his thermite and get damaged from his thermite and even pulled down my mic and was like hey thanks buddy i'm doing the same thing 50 kills from behind you definitely want to be in hardcore for this because imagine getting whacked with the shield and you're like boom what was that boom you hit him in the face for the second one and that's not from behind. So in order to get him from behind, play in hardcore where it's a one whack with the shield. 30 dead silence. Just make sure dead silence is your perk. It should not be that difficult. Every time it pops up, just don't use it at a bad time, but use it, run around and try to get some kills with it. It should not be too difficult. At least I didn't have much trouble with that one. 50 crouching. This one is not that hard with the shield considering in order to cover your feet with the shield, you want to crouch anyway. So you'll probably end up getting crouching kills. I had to wrap those up at the end and I ended up in shoe houses waiting around the doorways or the walls knowing they were there and just as soon as they came by I'd whack. Sometimes I'd have to run up from my crouch because you do move really slow. But you will get it, especially if you go upstairs and wait through the thin doorways. You won't really have to jump after them. The melee should hit them from there. 25 double kills. This one was actually changed to 25 kills without dying two times, which means kill two enemies with the shield without dying. That one was actually fairly easy. It is fairly easy to get at least two. Getting the third will be a little bit more difficult, but that's the last challenge, so we'll get to that in just a second. 50 kills near smoke. If you have not unlocked this camo challenge, I would recommend doing it as soon as possible with double XP tokens and then just getting kills with it because everything you do seems to count for this one. I was never near smoke with my shield. I vividly remember. I completed this challenge in like three games and I never saw smoke enemies were not around smoke it is bugged it gives it to you 
If you want to actually go for it, just make sure you're carrying smoke grenades. It says near smoke, not in smoke. So you can be around the outskirts of it. If you're in a corner, just sit in the corner, kind of sit in the center, like the eye of the hurricane, the eye of the smoke grenade, and wait for someone to run in and then whack them. It shouldn't actually be too hard. 10 buzz kills. Some of the people you kill may be going on a streak. 10 buzz kills will kind of naturally just do itself over time, so not too hard. 25 finishers. This is another bugged one. Thank you, Infinity Ward, for not knowing how to fix your camo challenges. This one just counts. Do you have to be behind? Do you just have to get kills? I don't know, but I never once did a finisher. If I were to try to actually think of some reasonable advice, get off of Shoot House, go into a normal mode. It doesn't have to be hardcore. In fact, I would recommend not doing it hardcore, using dead silence, getting behind somebody, and then doing a finisher. It shouldn't be too hard, but I think this just counts for backstabbers or maybe even anything. Maybe any kill counts for this, like the smoke grenades. I have absolutely no idea. And for the last one, 25 three kill streaks. Now this one was insanely infuriating because I'm not sure if you're aware. I was not aware, but there is a hole in the middle of the shield somewhere that I just kept getting shot through and I could not explain why. It's like I'm doing a slide to my shields like this and then I finish and I'm like bit. But it's like, if it's like this, I'm not even holding a shield. It's like there's nothing even there. Enemies hit fire and miss, and I'm just like, I'm still dead. But all of a sudden, my arm shifts like this, and it's like, oh, boom, now I'm 100% safe and nothing can hit me. Things can hit you. Your shield just gets hit with a thermite, and it's like, boom, you're dead. It's like, yeah, I can't take that thing off my arm. It's attached. It was sewn on to my arm. This riot shield will never be removed from my arm. I don't know. I, I just throw it on the floor if it got stuck with a grenade or something. But I guess, you know, it's a video game. I don't mind that that sort of thing is in there. But oh my god, 25 three kill streaks. Hardcore shoot house. Once you get two, play very, 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 very conservatively very conservative and I am talking like Mike Pence circa 1989 conservatively this one is tough this one is actually a very tough challenge and I don't know what to tell you except stick with it you will be able to get this done somehow some way it will be very 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 infuriating but it is possible it, it, it this is one of the camo challenges that actually feels like a challenge and the worst part about it is well do you know what i'm actually gonna get to the knife real quick and then you will figure out my biggest gripe with the riot shield so the combat knife is a lot better it's a lot easier i would still recommend using the shield with the knife don't use another gun it's just gonna tempt you to use it use the shield to defend yourself but really focus on the knife that's all you want to do especially if you are using double xp tokens you don't want to distribute that xp where it does not need to be i would still recommend shoot out it's probably not shipment you're gonna die like a madman repeatedly vacant maybe but it does have some long hallways so i'm not entirely sure but shoot out definitely with the knife is good you're gonna get a lot of good plays and it's gonna actually feel pretty fun uh 200 kills just use the knife you'll be getting used to this as you unlock this camo and start getting the kills you will start understanding the knife and everything that comes with it 50 injured this one is a lot easier than the shield counterpart of the challenge you will be shot at chances are you will be shot at while you're three feet away from an enemy chances are you will probably die then because the the knife sucks compared to guns in the game but there are chances that you will actually get that kill and be injured and this one should just come naturally 50 kills from behind i had to stop using the knife during the first double xp weekend because this camo challenge was not counting no matter what i think you had to be at extremely low health for it to count and get a backstabber and i only had one and i think by this point i had like 100 kills and i had one kill from behind after probably getting like 60 kills from behind so this was broken now it's working, but it still has a very little window that it wants you to be directly behind them if you're just slightly askew. So if you're just slightly askew, so if you're just slightly askew, it won't count. You really have to be directly behind them for it to count. And it is kind of annoying, but it's not too hard. 30 dead silence kills is, is fairly easy for this one. Just attach dead silence. You're actually going to want to run with dead silence 100% of the time. Always. It's just going to come naturally. 50 crouching kills. This one, I'm really thankful for Sour for clarifying this. Sliding does not count for knife kills, for crouched kills, if you are in the middle of the slide. So there is a trick. Hitting circle while you are sliding just stops your slide and puts you in crouch. That is the best advice I have for this. Slide and press circle again to stay in a crouch because, I mean, 
hell, I'm if I sprint forward with the knife, I'm running the same speed as somebody running backwards with an LMG, which doesn't make any sense. So you can't be crouched because you won't be able to catch up to them, which makes this extremely challenging. But try the slide technique or just wait by the doors in the upstairs upstairs a shoot house. That's basically it. 25 double kills. This one is actually double kills, unlike the shield where it's 25 kill, uh, 25, uh, two kill streaks. This one is actually the double kills. They had to change it for the shield because it was almost impossible, even though I got one or two in hardcore, only one or two ever. And I got gold with the shield. That would have been insanely impossible, even though people have done it. So kudos to you if you sat through that, you masochistic son of a bitch. 25 double kills. This one is not hard. The knife kills easily. You're on shoot house. You'll run into two enemies more than once. This one should be fairly easy. 50 kills near smoke. This one is broken. It just gives it to you. Do this as soon as possible. If you are seeing this, do this as soon as possible. And these will not be an issue for you. Otherwise, you're going to have to actually try to throw smoke grenades and get kills while inside the smoke grenade with the knife, which you're just going to be swinging like a madman since there's no lock on with the knife. So that, uh, that one might be fairly tough. Yeah, throw the smoke on and just try your darndest. If you guys do end up having a lot of trouble with these, if they end up fixing the challenge, let me know and I'll play around with it a little and see if I can get some even better advice. 10 buzz kills are broken. If not, that dirt is insanely easy to get with the knife. It's not hardcore, so people are probably on streaks. You will actually get this in one game, maybe. If you can get 10 kills with the knife in one game on Shoot House, you might get this all the way ranked up in one game. 25 finishers, also broken. Thank you, Infinity Ward. 25 finishers. If not, I would uh, assume using dead silence, you'll end up being behind somebody. Hope none of your teammates are around. Try to flank, get behind them, and you hold the melee button, and you will initiate the takedown, the finisher, and you should be good to go. Might take a little bit of time, but as of right now, it just gives it to you. And now for the last camo for the knife. Get 10 three kill streaks. Yes, you heard me correct. Ladies and gentlemen, get 10 three kill streaks with a knife, which I would argue is a lot fucking easier than the stupid ass shield, which is 25 three kill streak. Is this some sort of goddamn joke? Is this a joke, Infinity Ward? Is this a fucking joke? 25 three kill streaks with the obviously harder weapon that you have. I was even like, do you know what? I will do this in core since I can actually probably stand to survive a little longer. No, no, that is not the case. I went into core for one minute and 30 seconds and left because I was like, hell no, I am not going to be able to do the three kill streaks in core. I had to go to hardcore for the shield. And this was actually the last challenge. Crouching was easier. The crouching challenge with the shield is easier even though you have to chase after them and stop crouching. It's a lot easier than 25 three kill streaks with the shield. That was insanely stupid and it's insanely stupid that the melee knife, the combat knife, is only 10 three kill streaks. Fuck me, right? Fuck all of us, right? What is this bullshit? Come on. That one's actually not hard with the knife. Three kill streaks. You'll kill one dude, you'll kill a second dude, and then you'll you'll hang back and be like, okay, now I gotta wait in the wood building back here and just wait, and then someone will come out and you'll get lucky. That's it. That's all there is to it. Ten of them. Ten of them should take you two or three games, unless you're really crap with the knife. Then it might take a little bit more, but it's actually not that much of a challenge. Not really. But lucky me, I did it. I sat through it, and I just did it in two days. And let me tell you, after those two days of running around with the shield, oh boy, I just became a much better player with the guns in the game. I got the Odin, and I went 72 to 20. First game after not using the shield and knife. This game... <laughs> Oh my god! Thank you, Infinity Ward, for the highly exploitable skill-based matchmaking. It actually made grinding these melee weapons very fun because it basically made me a god for like a day or two. I forgot how to be good. I'm not that good anymore, but I it, that, that did really make me a much better player, I have to admit. So if you find that you're having a challenge just with any of the other guns and you keep getting into lobbies with sweats, Go, go run around with the shield and the knife for a few games and you might find that the, I don't know what it is, the discipline, the discipline of using the, sh the shield and the knife, it teaches you a lot and it makes you a much better player. And I've tested this and it's got the rebel stamp of approval, ladies and gentlemen. So go ahead and use that shield, use that knife and temporarily become a better player. Okay. Best class setup that I was using. I had 
the shield, and the knife. Oh my god, get that. Imagine. Okay, so for perks, you are going to want to run. Specialist. Will you? Maybe. I was running specialist the entire time. Because why not? Okay, so in the first perk tree, you have double time, and you got EOD, and you got cold-blooded. Double time to run faster, you got EOD to survive the explosives, and you got cold-blooded to survive the VTOLs. I was running EOD. Perk number two. I was running hardline. Was I running hardline? I was running hardline, but not for score streaks. I was running it for specialists. But what else could you use? Restock to get more throwing knives. Or grenades, I would advise against grenades because it takes away from the fun of a TKO class. High alert. Probably not. You're going to be running around non-stop with the knife anyway. Ghost for the UAVs. Possibly. Possibly ghost is a good choice. Ghost, Hardline, or Restock. As for perk 3, I was using Shrapnel to just start with two knives, but you can use Tune Up to get Dead Silence more often if that's what you're going for. Battle Hardened, possibly. Spotter or Tracker will also work just to see the claymores behind the walls or to see the footsteps. Uh, but I was using, like I said, I was using Specialist, so I was getting 6 in the Specialist bonus. And uh, so I have, for the first one, I what did I have? Did I actually have Tune Up? It says I had Tune Up, but I might have changed it from Double Time. I think I did change it from Double Time. Uh, then I had Restock, because after you get your third kill, then you can stop re start refilling your throwing knives to make sure you can continue to go on nice streaks and then at five i use tracker just to make sure i was even more skilled but you don't have to use specialist you can use score streaks i was using throwing knives and stim uh the stim shot is why i would not and would not recommend quick fix and that's it that's basically it so your class the class i would recommend is just the shield the knife try to mess around with specialists judge by what you're dying from more are you dying from vtols more or are you dying from claymores c4s and grenades more that should dictate what perks you use. And besides that, this is one of the tougher challenges I've had to do in the game. Not the one really for Combat Knife, but the one for Shield, definitely. That is, that was just pain and a half in my soul. But I did it because I'm insane. I have no life, and I like putting myself through excruciatingly, excruciating mental torment. I've been your boy Rebel. Uh, putting myself through the ringer for you guys. Because why not? Because you... What else am I going to do? Drop a like, drop a sub, sub, hit that notification bell, comment down below uh, why you think I am so insane. Let me know if you've been using the knife or shield and if you think it's broken that you need uh, 15 more three kill streaks with the shield than you do with the knife. Because that's pretty fucking dumb. And until next time, peace. Man, I am going to have one hell of a time editing that 20 minutes. Dude.